guys. I'm doing my first live on YouTube. Thank you so much for finding me here. I know that it was a bit of a journey as we're used to doing Facebook lives, but I am just excited to see the quality of these videos on YouTube and just where they're uninterrupted and just coming to bless you in a great way with hopefully too many without too many problems. So thanks for finding me here. Tonight we are doing encouragement, live encouragement and talking about spring break. And don't worry, even if you haven't been on spring break, we're just talking about springtime and adventures with God. It's going to be a great night. So I'm glad that you're tuning in with me. I just want to say thank you for finding me here. And please, if you found me here, subscribe to my channel. That way you're notified of my lives. It's easier to find me. You don't have to go back through the files or anything like that. So um, please subscribe. Let's see. T today we're going to be talking about, oh, there's my subscribe button. So it's super easy. Just press the subscribe button and you'll be able to uh, stay posted with all the different encouragement that I'm bringing you from the Word each week, Thursday nights at 7 p.m. I just wanted to say that the purpose of doing these videos, which I've done them for several weeks on Facebook Live, but never this way before, so I'm excited. Um, it, but the purpose of this is I write an encouragement blog at melanietalevsky.com and it, it comes every so often. I'm not on a super tight schedule about when I post, but I post when the Holy Spirit prompts me and when he drops something in my heart that I can share with others. And so, um, so what happens with all this is I just want to be able to come into your house through YouTube and be able to share the encouragement, whether it's a previous blog that I wrote or a current one. Um, just to share God's word and revert back to some of the things I've said in my blog. And of course, the most important priority is putting the word of God first. So um, we, we meet during these times to share uplifting messages from the word of God that will encourage you and brighten your day. I don't know about you guys, but every time that we do these talks together, I just come away with a smile on my face and I just feel so encouraged in my heart. Um, knowing that there are others who are following Jesus and loving the Lord and just how we can have our own community, even through online, just to support each other and love each other. So join me live every week. I did just change the time. Uh, we were previously meeting at 6 and now with all the mountain daylight savings time and with the weather getting nicer, I would like to join, have you join me every week, Thursday nights at 7 p.m. So please do that. Mark your calendar. Um, come with questions or come with something you want to share. It's always a wonderful time to be able to talk together. So um, I see a few of you are finding your way to my live. I'm so excited to see you. Um, it's going to be a great night. It's just been exciting prepping this this week, just knowing that the Lord has something special to say to each one of us. So um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is our schedule for tonight. Today's talk, uh, what we'll do is I have a little inspiring talk about the Dr. Seuss book, Oh, the Places You Will Go. I also have um, some spring scriptures that we'll go over and a, my spring blog. Um, it was not from the spring, but it goes perfectly with springtime. I have a question and answer time. I get to um, ask you guys questions on Facebook and hear your answers. I thought I'd ask you a couple questions live tonight, and then I also wanted to offer an opportunity. If you wanted to ask me a question live, you could just post it in the chat and in the comments, and I will see it and be able to uh, answer that for you. Fingers crossed I can answer all the questions. <laughs> um, and then after that, we'll do our prayer time. And I love sharing resources with you guys. You know that. Whether it's something new I found or something a friend has found, something from my past or present um, that just adds to life and makes life better, I love to share those resources with you. So I see a few of my friends have gotten on. Hi, guys. So glad you could join me tonight. Thanks for finding me here on YouTube. It's so exciting. Well, I wanted to because last week, if you remember, 
Um, Facebook was giving me all kinds of fits, partly why we ended up here tonight on YouTube. But I really wanted to show you a few pictures from our spring vacation. Myself and uh, my two daughters, we got to go out to Arizona, Scottsdale, Arizona, and watch some of the spring training games. So let me bring up those pictures right now. <laughs> Here's just a few pictures of our fun time. Um, my youngest, it was her very first flight, and so it was really fun to experience a first flight with her at age 10. And what a great time it was for her. She got the window seat, of course, and held on to our hands really tight during the takeoff and going down and turbulence and all the things. But she loved it and couldn't take enough pictures out the window. She just thought it was the greatest experience. Do you guys remember your first flights? I'm curious how old you were maybe on your first flights. Um, I actually had the privilege of going when I was pretty young, probably about three uh, maybe even younger than that, but probably the first one I remember was three, and we'd often go to California um, every couple of years, and so it would be sometimes drive and sometimes flight. So um, it was exciting that she had to go on her first airplane ride, as the rest of our family has already been on airplanes before. It was so nice out in Arizona, this was at the beginning of March, so nice that we were able to swim outside. Isn't that exciting? I love it. I love the nice weather um, in Arizona. That was just so wonderful. It was just such a fun time. We also um, got to the baseball games. If you know me, you know that I just absolutely love baseball. And um, watching the Rockies and the different teams down there, oh, it was just a dream come true. Um, then we have a picture here of food. If you're ever in Arizona, specifically um, Scottsdale, there's a place called Barrow's Pizza. And it was just a really fun old time pizza parlor that was in Scottsdale that we really enjoyed. And the rumor has it, it's um, owned by a family and that they, the siblings now know all the recipe and have opened up different chains or different stores and have kept the original recipe a secret. And it's just a really good, fun place. And it was very affordable and very fun, delicious. My favorite food that we had out there, because I mean, what's vacation without good food, right? <laughs> um, my favorite food we had out there in Scottsdale was next to Chase Field, which is the um, Diamondbacks field, home field. Um, it was all empty this time of year, of course, because spring training is at the other facilities, but they were getting ready. And so we were eating at a little restaurant just, I mean, right there at Chase Field, like probably a stone's throw away to the opening gate. And um, it was actually a restaurant that served Guy Ferrari's food. And so um, my dad, in some of the last months of his life, um, we were watching TV together and different things, and he just loved Guy Ferrari and said, we need to learn some of these recipes to cook. And um, he was always loving to grill things, season things. And so it was when I saw that restaurant, I was like, oh my goodness, we're going to have to go there, guys. And we got to sit out on the patio. It was like only customers because it was such an off day. And we enjoyed it so much. I got like the mac and cheese bacon or something outrageous like that that we shared. And um, my girls got the buffalo wings and... I think just the really good mac and cheese. So we had a really fun memory doing that and just um, also honoring my dad, the kid's papa, just by enjoying um, something that he would have said, Melanie, you most definitely need to stop there and enjoy it. So it was so fun. Um, so that's a little bit of an update of our pictures. I'm so glad it worked to be able to share them with you tonight because um, I was so bummed last week when that didn't work. So those are some of the pictures of my vacation. Um, do you guys want to share things that you've been up to? Um, I do not always go on a spring break vacation, and this was actually earlier than spring break. But um, this year, just with everything that we had been through, um, my dad or my husband said, you know what, we need to get you out to have a great fun time and go see baseball because he knows that's one of my first loves. <laughs> and so we really enjoyed it. So I see some of you guys are writing in our chat. This is awesome. Let's see. It's sort of wanting, oh, there we go. Awesome, it was wanting to cut off your messages, okay. 
Oh my goodness, Susie, your first flight was to Italy. <laughs> That's crazy. I was just talking to family members and I was like, it would be crazy if your first flight was to a different country. My husband's first flight was to America. And what a crazy thing to be on a plane for that long. Wow. Yeah, go big or go home. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Kristen said her first flight, she doesn't remember exactly, but um, family vacations from a young age, that's cool. Sometimes flying, sometimes driving. I know this year um, in the summertime, we're going to be able to go as a family to California. And for the first time in the kids' lives, we are flying there all together. We've gone with younger or older ones when they were younger. Um, so we're excited about that because it was always slow everything in the car, drive overnight. You know, those are great adventures. But, um, this time we're making a little bit simpler with light because we were able to get a good price on tickets. So that's super exciting. All right. I sure love seeing what you guys have to say. This is so much fun. <laughs> well, today I wanted to talk a little bit about old oh, places you will go. I have a stack of books here. I had to go dig in my kids' books down in the basement because they aren't currently reading these. Isn't that so sad? Kids growing up. These were some of my youngest, her very favorite, um, sort of where it has all the combination of Dr. Seuss books. Oh, we read these things. We have like three or four of these in different ones. This was my son's favorite. The Ten Apples Up on Top. Do you guys remember any of these? Read them with your own children or read them yourselves growing up? Oh, yep, the classic, The Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. And then this one is my youngest, one of her favorite. What pet should I get? And of course, it doesn't have normal pets and it has all kinds of these crazy creations that only Dr. Seuss could come up with. But the one I wanted to talk about tonight is, oh, the places you'll go. So this is a good Dr. Seuss book. I hope that most of you have read this in the past. It's just, um, it's actually, at least this one, I believe all of the um, editions, but this is the graduation keepsake edition that was given to my daughter when she graduated kindergarten, and next year she's graduating high school. How could the time have flown? But it just has fun little illustrations, you know, day is day, you're off to great places, you're off and away. I won't read the whole book. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you are the guy who will decide where you will go. Isn't this fun, all the different pictures? So it goes on to talk about the different things you will face, you know. You might find there's all kinds of pathways. It's open, like the open air. You may run into crazy things. You may run into sad things or confusing things, right? So the book goes on like this, and it's pretty cool. Well, my mom was, um, who's a pastor, she was preaching the other day, which I will make sure to include all the links of the different things that I mentioned today, including this sermon. But she was talking about, all oh, the places that you will go with the Holy Spirit. She mentioned it under one of her key points in her sermon at church. And I just, that thought has just been sticking with me all week. I know that I've talked to several of you who are viewing today, and I've also talked to several of my friends and family members, and it feels like a lot of us are in the same vein. Maybe it's in different kinds of situations, but it's the same vein of things are changing. Things don't look the same. Um, things are challenging. And I just want to encourage you that... The Holy Spirit has adventures for us to go on with Him. He does provide rest. He does lead us by the green pastures, the still uh, waters, all those things. But there is a time where the world gets a little bit crazy and exciting as we follow the Lord. Our plans, His plans for us, may look confusing, may look a little crazy, but He knows exactly what He's doing in our lives. Whether it's in your relationships, whether it's with moving or moving to a different state, whether it's, um, gosh, all kinds of things like you guys have told me, your children growing up, graduations or different sports you're involved in, or things with your health that have been challenging lately, 
or things like with me, uh, how grieving a loved one and how that changes your life and causes almost a new version of yourself to be born. And that life's not the same as it used to be. It can be scary, exciting, crazy, but the good news is, is we have the Holy Spirit with us. So I am going to share with you our first scripture for tonight. Everything I like to write on here uh, is based on the Word of God. It's not just my thought. My thoughts, oh, they're ugly at times or they just fall short. Right? All of us humans, we just fall short. But God's thought and God's Word is the thing that always stands eternal. So, I'm going to read to you from Mark 10 and 27. Looking for the Word of God right now. It says, Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible, but not with God. With God, or all things are possible with God. There's a couple translations, so I was going to quote the other one. But all things are possible with God. Mark 10, 27. I want to encourage you with that word. God's word has not passed away. It has not changed. And so the things that were possible in the Bible for Jesus to do are possible now. And the problems that you find yourself facing, he can handle those. He already has a way out. He already has the plan for you. It's our job to just take the hand of the Holy Spirit and let him lead us and guide us. And you know, instead of that being a scary thing, it can be a real exciting thing. Here's my next verse I would like to share with you. Is, um, Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. 23.6. I love this verse. Again, mama and my daddy, they were good at explaining this verse in the sermon and saying that if his goodness and love is following me, is behind me, then that means when I'm walking on a path, it's ahead of me too. Because if it follows me all the days of my life, it means it's before me, it's behind me, it's all around me. So I encourage you that God's goodness and love are with you every day of your life. And you know what, friend? That is more than enough to take us through any tough situation. I believe it. I hope you guys do too. Let me hear an amen if you believe that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to talk about a quote by Chuck Swindoll, who is a Christian pastor, famous pastor. He said, Life with Christ is a wonderful adventure. The beautiful thing about this adventure called faith is that we can count on him never to lead us astray. So faith can either be viewed as something, we can either view our questions, our insecurities, uncertainties as something negative. Oh, we don't know what we're going to do. We can't see the path ahead, right? But if we view it through God's lenses, it's actually faith. Faith is believing, I don't know where I'm going, where I'm headed, what's going to happen. However, get through this, but when you look to God, to hold his hand, to trust in him, to lean on him, in faith, it, we don't know where we're going, but we're trusting him to lead us. So like this quote says, this adventure called faith, uh, it's great, the beautiful thing about this adventure called faith is that we can count on him never to lead us astray. Amen. It's true. Even the dark times, even the times where we feel like, of course, something went wrong. Or God, are you lost track of this? Or lost track of me? Why would you let me go through this time? Even then, God is holding us and directing us, leading us, and guiding us, bringing us through to better days. That he has done his best to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus has come that we may have life and have it abundantly. All right. Well, I would like to encourage you right now from my blog. It is called Adventuring Out. This is one that I originally published in August of last year. You can look it up at Tulefsky, MelanieTulefsky.com. I'm going to go now to my website and show you how you can um, access all these different things. So let's go over. This is my, let's go back to MelanieTalewski.com. Okay, so if you go to MelanieTalewski.com, like you see in this window, um, this is my blog page, and it's welcome to my blog. There are things up here. It says home blog about Melanie contact or blog archive. 
Um, you'll always see our uh, latest, my latest post here, which this is a good one. I would encourage you to read this before next week. That's what we're going to be talking about. And um, in this case, and this is a while ago, I'm going to go to our blog archive and pull up uh, my post of entry out, which says it was actually the end of July, which makes sense because in this, I used the whole theme of our Disneyland trip and vacations and all the fun that we had and roller coasters. So you can read my story here. You can also see some of our family pictures, different adventure pictures. I just wanted to read you just a little part of my blog and allow you to go and read as you want to. But I wanted to encourage you that God wants you to feel fully alive too. I know we like to be safe. I know we like to be comfortable, but sometimes when the storm comes, it's a time not to hunker away or worry away, but instead to go out and face it. With God, we can make what was going to ruin the day into an adventure. If you need to hunker, I know what that's like, and that is fine too. I have gone through my own seasons of hunkering down with God, but God is so good to bring us through to our adventure state once again. Do you guys know that we were born for adventure? This is one of my um, Christmas gifts that my daughter gave me. This is from Target, and it says, Let the adventure begin. I know I've showed this to you, a couple of you guys before. This is one of my favorite mugs every morning. Isn't that the kind of attitude we need to have with the Holy Spirit? Let me get my coffee and Holy Spirit, Jesus, let the adventure begin today because I am linked up with you. I encourage you to just put that, um, let this, the adventure begin, that quote somewhere where you see it first thing in the morning, maybe even on your coffee maker, and just realize that every day we spend time with the Lord, we ask Him to lead us, and He takes us on that grand adventure. It's just amazing. So um, I'm going to continue reading just a little bit more of my blog here, but like I said, please go back and read more as you are encouraged about it. Um, the truth of the matter, whether roller coasters or rainstorms, is we have a chance to lay it all on the line. We can hunker away and worry, or we can stand up and realize we are on this ride of life, and we may as well enjoy it and make the best of it, all while trusting the Lord. I know for a lot of us, life has not happened as we have planned. Perhaps the main friendship has gone awry, or a marriage relationship is struggling, or our children have challenges, or behavior, or needs that seem too much for us to bear. Not even to mental health or grieving, changes in life, um, feeling alone, in those kinds of things. It may feel too much to bear. It may be job or family or social interactions, housing, finances. God wants us to know in this moment we can fully trust in Him. We can get the hungering down, the list making. Oh, I'm good at that. And worrying, we can stop all of that for a moment, lean it to Him. He's holding us safe through the roller coaster, and he's shifting us through the storm. He is bringing miracles out of the mayhem. He is a miracle worker. God's goodness and love are behind us, before us, all around us. His mercy, his grace, his kindness, his love, his faithfulness, they follow us all of our lives. He beckons us, stop worrying and look to me, trust me. So I just want to encourage you, please go and read more of this vlog. I showed you how to find it, but I will also post a link for our videos today. Um, I hope that you felt encouraged by that um, this week. So with that, I'm going to take a moment to share some resources, one of my favorite things to do with you, but I'm going to skip ahead to the next two slides. While I'm sharing resources, I would encourage you to think up a question you would like to ask me. I have some questions for you, but if you would like to post a question you would like to ask me, you can go ahead and post it now. And I'll do my best to answer some of them. If I get a lot, I'll put some of them to next week or answer them in a different way. Um, and then I'm skipping to the next slide too. I'm going to ask for a request. You might as well start typing those out now so that we have them by the time that I want to be praying together. So please do those two things while I'm sharing a few of the resources that I just love. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to go on to, there are these three things in these three circles that I want to share with you. And I'd like to show them to you 
on my website, or not really my website, but just on uh, the website. We're going to start with this one. This is a really cute bag that I got for my young daughter um, from Walmart for $24, it looks like. Um, some of the other versions are a little bit cheaper. That one, $18, this one. Um, my oldest daughter and myself, a couple years ago when we went to spring training for the first time, we bought bags like this. My daughter has a pink one and I have a blue striped one and the younger daughter now has a sunflower one. And these bags, no matter what airline you're flying, flying with, it is allowed as a personal item, not even like a backpack. Um, I guess maybe a backpack could be considered a personal item, but it sort of stretches and then you can like squish it down. So it's the perfect carry on size. And even if you can't bring a carry-on, people consider it for personal. I, we have not had any trouble in our flights taking this. So I encourage you, if you have a trip coming up, or need something a good size, um, always pack super light because, I mean, you can do laundry on the trip, right? And the way that they're charging for luggage nowadays is just crazy. So that's the first resource I wanted to share with you. The second one, let's see. Oh, yeah, just open places you will go. There are so many places you can get them for different prices. Of course, Amazon is always a good one. Um, I saw a cool website talk about, I went with the LinkedIn, oh, the places you will go with God. And it talked about if you are having some graduations coming up, how you can buy this book. Um, I believe this is a more costly version of this book. There are other ones that are only $10. This one's Twenty, maybe even thirty dollars nowadays, um, but they they encourage you get this book for an upcoming graduate, whether it's a graduate graduate from high school or a graduate from um, kindergarten or a graduate from college, and according to this website, it will tell you the page number to go on, which you know, like, let's see here. Okay, I believe this would be page one. <laughs> Because guess what? This does not really have page numbers. So you might have to go through and mark your page numbers first. And then it says somewhere on the page, right, there, my 29, 11 through 13. As we get going, it's really fun. On this page, page 2, right, Jeremiah 10, 23. I've seen people write them like on the roads going up, or write it in the skies or in the building. Page 3 would be Proverbs 12, 28. In the way of righteousness in his life, along that path is morality, mortality. Could write on this different little thing. So it has something for every single page. And I think that is an awesome project to just personalize a graduation gift for someone in your life. Even make yourself one because the things that you read in here, this book is so encouraging about the different things you'll face. But of course, us as Christians know we'll face it with the Holy Spirit. And then when you add the scripture verses in there, oh, it just becomes a powerful and wonderful graduation present. So I know we're a little ways out from graduation, but it's not too early for you to pick up a copy of this and start um, doing that as a special gift for someone special. And um, next, I want to share one more resource with you is this um, book right here. This is from the Well Watered Woman Company. It's a company um, online. I've gotten Bibles there, Bible studies there. I've shared a lot of resources from them. But this is the Breathe 30 Days of Prayer through the Psalms. I love it because each day you will, I'm sorry, I know the screen is, uh, here we go. I know it's hard to see out, but it basically has as the day, you know, day 16, it will say a song, and you read it, and you read their short encouragement, and you use this space to pray Psalm 70, and for you to read Psalm 70 and apply it to your own circumstances. So it doesn't go through all the Psalms, it picks out the ones that are just really good for prayers. So I encourage you, I just started this, if that's something that speaks to you, get a copy um, here it is on the Well Watered Woman for $20. I know that they also um, offer like promotions if it's your first time, like 15% off or so. So um, check that out. I love it. It's a great resource. Okay, those are all the resources I have for today. 
but let me look back and see now. Did you guys all have a chance to see what you wanted to um, share for question-wise or prayer-wise? I would love to see this. Um, let me go check this in a way that I will be able to see everything. Let me see here, because I know, um, okay. Oh, there we go. Let's see, it says at the top. Um, still things I'm navigating. Okay, live chat. I would like to see what you guys all have to say here. Um, it's just showing me some of the things. I don't know if there was more things mentioned than this. Um, so I apologize if I'm not seeing every single um, comment here. Let's see. Oh, Rebecca Lane says, keep my family in prayer. My um, niece, oops, let me go back. Uh, let's see, excuse me, stop navigating my own way here. All right, there we go. Forgive me for having to interrupt that. Okay, um, Becca, where did your thing go? Let's see. Your niece Misty passed away yesterday. I'm so sorry, Becca. I didn't know that. We will keep you in prayers. Sure love you. Um, prayer request for Susie. Oh, smashed your pinky toe last night or tonight. Oh man, not sure if you broke it, but it swelled, it hurts. Okay, I'm glad you have the ice on it. Keep that up, but we will definitely be praying for you and the dental work for your son. Good. Um, Kristen's prayer request for God to show me what next. I know I'm not starting a PhD this year. It is the right next it is the right next step to pursue a master's degree, additional research experience, or both. We talked a little bit about this earlier this week. I'm so glad you shared those. Okay, if there is anything else, um, I feel like we just need to skip our question and answer. We'll come back to it, but I feel like we should just pray right now over these things. Um, I just want to say I'm honored if you guys would share these things and I know that you serve the same God I do and that we know that he listens to our prayers. I put a verse up on our prayer screen tonight. It's Colossians 4, 2. Continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. So what do we do? We continue to pray and then we're watchful, waiting for those answers to come. And we're thanking God in the midst of it. Isn't that good? That's something I need to remind myself in the morning. I want to steadfastly come to the Lord in prayer. I want to be watchful, waiting for his answers to come while I'm thanking him. Thank you, Lord, for your answers. So we just bring these things to you, Lord. Today as we pray, Lord, I first of all want to ask you for just comforting Becca and putting your arms around her in Jesus' name. Her whole family, bring the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, only you know how to comfort them and how to show them love. I pray that um, they would feel your presence around them. I pray for anyone in the family who doesn't know you yet, that this would just be a great time for your Holy Spirit to just envelop them in your love. And I pray that they would just have open hearts towards you during this time, Lord. Come and speak to this family and encourage them and bless them with your presence, we pray. I also want to pray for Susie, Lord. I thank you. You know there's been a lot of things going on in her life. I thank you for healing up her pinky toe, that it would just, the swelling would go down and that healing would happen. And we also pray for her son's um, teeth, Lord, and for the dentist, that they would be able to get in there and to do the right work without it being any kind of um, tra traumatic, traumatic experience or any amount of stress with it that the Lord's hands would just guide the hands of those who are working on his teeth. We also pray for Kristen and the directions you have for her life just like the story that we are reading and talking about all oh, the places that you will go with the Holy Spirit. I pray that you would encourage her, strengthen her, and actually give her excitement about the things to come. She's been waiting a long time, but we know that you are faithful and good on your promise and that you are bringing her 
on your pathway and you are holding your hand and guiding her. So we thank you for speaking directly to our heart about the things to come. I also want to pray for anybody who's watching that hasn't commented, has a request, um, whether presently or catch the video uh, as a replay. We just want to bless them now, Lord. You know their heart. You know them. You love them. You have sent Jesus for them to be their Savior and their Lord. You have sent the Holy Spirit to be their greatest helper. Thank you for the comfort of the Holy Spirit in those lives that are watching tonight. Thank you for guiding them in your ways. And Lord, help each of us to view our lives and the circumstances, the ups and the downs, as a part of the adventure that the Holy Spirit's taking us on. We know you don't bring death or discouragement or hard things, but that you navigate us through those pathways and you bring us on to brighter and better days because surely your goodness and your mercy and your love, they follow us all of our days. So we just submit all these requests to you and we love you, Lord. Thank you for the answers and we just want to say we're watching for the answers and we're thanking you in the meantime, knowing you are bringing them to pass. In Jesus' name, amen. That's right. Oh, I love you guys so much. This is such a good thing. Um, at this time, let's see. I don't think I saw any questions or answers. Oh, yes, I do see a few. Yay! <laughs> okay, this is a good question for all of us from Susie. Um, let's see. Susie submitted, what do you most look forward to for this summer? Mm. You guys can write your answers. I will talk about my answer. There's so many things I'm looking forward to this summer. Whew. Um... Let me think about it for a minute. This summer, it's probably what I've already shared is going on our trip to California in the summertime and we'll be gone. We'll be out by the ocean. We're going to stay in La Jolla and travel down to Mission Beach and have a really good time together. We've been to the beach before. We love it. Um, California is where I met my husband. Last year we went back and had our 20 year anniversary uh, trip with our kids and took them back to the original church that we met at, at the Dream Center in LA. And so I'm looking forward to going back to California and enjoying the sunshine and the beach and just a uh, vacation style life for a little while with my family. So that's gonna be great. Also coming up in May, which I know is sort of early summer, but um, we have my daughter, Maisie, is going to be turning two. So we always do a little celebration with the kids, and it's a blast. So I love all the birthdays that we have in our family for the summertime, and just making good memories together. So how about you guys? Anything you have to say that you're excited about for this summer? Definitely add to our list there. And um, I'm excited for you guys for this summer. Here's my silly question for tonight. I have a silly question and then I have a heart question. You can reply even after this video stops going live. Um, it will still um, post on the video. Uh, so please do that because I'd love to read your answers. Silly question. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? We have been finding this spring break, we have been wanting ice cream so badly. It started out with the Tuesday night, D Dairy Queen did a free cone for the start of spring. I hope you were able to go. It was so much fun. My girls and I went after we finished our work and it was a blast. We had texted the boys, hey, do you wanna come with us? And they hadn't seen the text until too late. And so the next day when we had gotten home from work, um, my husband said, let's go. We're all going to DQ. <laughs> so we went over to DQ and had ice cream. So for me and the girls, it was two days in a row. And guess what? Today, when I came home from work, I was like, oh, I really need ice cream, right? Because that's a great tradition on spring break. Of course, we didn't have any. And probably three trips to DQ in a week or even a month is a little bit too much. So ice cream free day today. But my favorite flavor, okay, they wouldn't have this at Dairy Queen. Um, my dad always loved butter pecan and I've taken after him. I love butter pecan. That is usually like my favorite one to order. Um, let's see what else. 
mint chocolate chip is just always up there too. But if I had to pick the one, one, one flavor, oh, I love sorbet too. Raspberry sorbet, orange sorbet, rainbow sorbet. It's just so good. So write your answers on there and we'll get our ice cream appetites up. <laughs> oh, Cherry Garcia, right? The, um, what are the, oh gosh, now I can't even remember. It's been a while since I've had ice cream from the store, but the really good company that has the Cherry Garcia. Ooh, that's, that's the most, most favorite. So that's my question. And I see a couple of you guys answering too. Turtle Sundays, um, <laughs> Snickerdoodle or anything chocolate peanut butter. Oh yeah. I know I haven't seen a response from my friend Susie yet. She's going to say vanilla because <laughs> she always loves uh, vanilla. That way you can put any kind of toppings on it. So um, that's my friend's favorite as well. Oh yeah, there's these. I love cookies and cream ice cream. <laughs> Coffee flavored. Oh yeah, cookie dough. Guys, if you are closer, we just would all have to meet up for an ice cream night here soon because that sounds delicious. <laughs> All right, so um, that's my funny question for you. Now my serious question for you is I would love to hear, let me see exactly how I phrased it. Um, your Holy Spirit story. It can be how you've received the Holy Spirit. It can be a situation where you felt the Holy Spirit leading you by the hand. I would just encourage you to submit your Holy Spirit story on here, whether it's two sentences or 10 words or a whole paragraph. I would love to hear stories about different times in your life that you felt the Holy Spirit close to you. We know that he is always here. He's always helping. He's a leader. He's um, guiding us. He's whispering to us. He's telling us the things from the Lord. He has so many of those jobs. But what was a tangible time that you felt the Holy Spirit leading you in your life? I know there are so many examples to share, but I would love to hear yours in the comments below. So, um, I just want to say thank you for watching at this time. We're going to call it a night. Um, the videos aren't always this long. We sort of have a different range, but um, I just always want to make sure that we have enough time together to just receive the encouragement God has for us. So I want to say thank you for joining the live. I hope it was easy enough for you guys to find and navigate tonight. Um, you can also, I think it takes about 24 hours for it to post um, onto YouTube and I'll post it on my Facebook. Share it with a friend if you think they could receive some encouragement from it. And I want to give you a little sneak peek at next week. Next week we're going to have live encouragement for Easter week on Thursday, March 28th at 7 p.m. And it will be here on YouTube because guess what? So far I haven't had any fits that I know of on um, YouTube today. So <laughs> I am so excited to start using this new um, channel to be able to do those things. I'm going to post all the links as well. Um, let's see. I can enter a message. Isn't that cool? I actually put all my links in a document and I would like to put them down here. Um, again, it might not. Oh, I would love to put them on there, but it's only allowing me to have a certain amount of words. I will post all the links once this video posts as a real video on my channel, and I'll also post on Facebook a link to it, but I wanted to share the links for the different resources that I shared with you, my different blog that I read from tonight, the one for next week, some of my mom's sermon. I would just love to just load you up with some great ideas and some great things to use spiritually as well. So I just want to say thank you guys. Have a wonderful week leading up to Easter, and I will look forward to seeing you next Thursday and talking about all the great things uh, for Easter and being triumphant in Christ. So thanks for tuning in. I just want to say um, God bless you, and I'll talk to you next week.